Morning guys and welcome to another video. Now if there's one thing I really want to start on this channel, it's story time, okay? In the last four years, if there's one thing that I've built up, um, there's definitely a lot of stories, there's definitely a lot of funny stories. And the problem is, um, it's very difficult to keep people anonymous and tell a good story. In order to tell a good story, you need to build up characters, you need to build up context. That I know that certain men watch these videos and the last thing I want are emails. <laughs> so speaking about communication, uh, if there's anything that you want to see or if there's anything you want to suggest, uh, this is my Snapchat. <laughs> uh, uh, I reply to literally everyone on there and I post quite regularly on there. So get me on there and we can have a little chat up. Following on from last week and uh, my pro uh, my personal progress, a few of you were asking since then, so I don't think I made myself uh, clear enough. So let me explain. So to give you some context, I was um, on a bulk, I hate that word, in a surplus phase from last September to uh, January of this year. And as of February, I started to cut um, and I was, yeah, it was maybe a month, three weeks into a cut, like I lost, you know, a decent amount of water weight, nothing significant. My reason for cutting essentially was that um, I had yeah, loads of festivals planned uh, this summer and I really wanted to, you know, look the part and look, look really good. Personally, I don't feel it's the best idea to start or con continue cutting um, and be in a deficit phase and only use like five kilo dumbbells and resistance bands to train essentially I don't think that's optimal I don't think that's the best way to retain uh, muscle mass over a long period of time so therefore at the moment I'm you know staying at maintenance keeping my calories the same and I guess training two to three times a week uh, body weight stuff and uh, yeah bars and things like that so leading on from that and in terms of body weight stuff and um, street workouts um, I actually recorded a street workout that we did uh, last week, again, with everyone's favourite Finn. I think, yeah, the key thing is here to, you know, not get upset, not uh, fret about the lack of equipment, because you've got to make the most when you don't have... <laughs> we make the most when we don't have equipment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like muddy shorts. Yeah, but... Spontaneous, and you've got to be willing to change. So without further ado, let's get into um, the workout we did. All right, guys, welcome to a little voiceover. So we started this routine off with body weight dips, a fantastic exercise for triceps really overloading that long head. Um, in terms of depth, I'd recommend going to 90 degrees and probably not no lower because that's going to, you know, it's going to mess your shoulder joints up a little bit. Um, but yeah, just go as deep as you are comfortable with uh doing and uh yeah keep that keep that tension on the triceps throughout the whole range of motion we then moved on to uh chin-ups so again a fantastic exercise to overload the arms more specifically the biceps uh, make sure you really squeeze at the top and uh feel that feel that good burn in your biceps as uh, as a set continues and here he is making it all look too easy he then moved on to the humble press up, um, primarily working the shoulders, the deltoids, the uh, pectorals and the triceps. I go slightly wider than shoulder width here because I just feel it much better um, across my chest. But yeah, as you'll see in the next clip, um, Joel prefers to take a slightly little narrower stance. Um, and I like the way he's not locking out here and keeping tension um, on his chest and keeping it working at all times. I'm not sh too sure what to call this next one. It's um, a shoulder, some sort of a body weight shoulder press. <laughs> so what you want to do is get in a box position, come down and almost kiss the floor. And when you push back up through your arms, try and sit back on those heels and uh, really feel that contraction through that front delt muscle um, a little bit of a pro tip actually not that i'm a pro but um, as you're pressing away from yourself and sitting back try and imagine uh brushing your your earlobes with your front delt and you'll really really feel um, a strong front delt contraction and it's a lot harder than it looks so um yeah re it was my first time doing this so really happy about that as well 
we then moved on to natural raises now this is this is rogue this is village but you can load it up with um, as much weight as you need and try not to swing on this uh, try and keep it controlled and lead with uh, the elbows rather than uh, your wrists and yeah try and isolate that lateral head i'm doing them leaning here but you could do them standing up um, but yeah, it's just a matter of personal preference. And then we moved on to rows. I'm trying to bring my elbows behind my body here and um, slightly higher actually to work on the upper back. It's probably a better angle here actually. You can see Joel really pulling through the elbows and squeezing that upper back really hard. And to finish off, we did a cheeky little super set of arms. Um, so bicep chins. With this one, um, you try and extend at the wrist to feel um, a greater squeeze on your biceps. Yeah, definitely definitely felt really good. And once you're done with that, superset that with some tricep extensions. And bosh, we're done. Welcome back, bro. Welcome back to the video. <laughs> so, someone asked me, uh, what kind of music are you into? I'll be the first one to admit. <laughs> I probably have the musical taste of a 15 year old white girl. Now, I'm not ashamed of that. People tell me like, oh, why don't you like Joyner Lucas? Or why don't you like 50 Cent or, I don't know, 50 Cent? Why don't you like Trey songs? Why don't you like Chris Brown? I'll tell you my friend, because my name isn't flipping Logan from Dakota High University. I didn't participate in all-star American wrestling and I didn't major in economics. I don't wear my hat, most importantly, like this. Oh my gosh, sorry about that. <laughs> so yeah, guys, with that being said, I'm gonna end this video right about now. So if you did enjoy it, be sure to smash that like button. Smash the tinger, smash the tinger. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you later. See you next week, bye.